have decided to revisit my C++ AI tutorial series as I have learnt a few more things and in retrospect realise I may not have done things quite correctly. So it's time for a revamp in code tidy plus I'll be adding some new functionality. Now first thing I've done here is to rename everything in the project to Pascal case in keeping with the Unreal Engine convention. Now you don't have to do this. I've done the hard work for you anyway. I've included the renamed project prior to the alterations I'm now going to do in a GitHub link which is in the description below. So what I'm going to do first of all is to put the behavior tree onto the MPC itself. And this is because we can then expose this as a property and set it in the editor instead of setting it up in C++. You'll see in the controller we're using a constructor helper to get the tree and doing all sorts of stuff and it's a bit complicated and I've decided to do things differently. When we set up the blackboard and that and yeah I'm not sure that's the correct way. So first thing I'm going to do go to the MPC I'm going to add public function to get the behavior tree. You may notice I'm not using Visual Studio. I'm now using Rider from Real from JetBrains. A const. It's complaining that, yeah, this is why I'm using this editor. It's telling me that this is not known. So if I just press Alt Enter, it will add the header include. There's a possibly unused include directory. So I'm going to get rid of that. Click on it, a little light bulb. Remove all unused include directories. It's nice to get rid of deadwood like that because it can slow your compile down oh yes in the private section we now need this new property don't we so i've put one in it's also much better at suggesting parameters to these macros um, and we need this meta tag it was doesn't do this one for some reason True, isn't it? Not yes, and uh, this is a U behavior tree. Call it behavior tree. I've just implemented this getter. I think that's all we need to do. According to my notes, all we need to do is go to the controller header. I need to take out a lot of stuff, so I've got a got an unpossessed which we need. Don't need a behavior tree component or behavior tree or blackboard. Take those out. I've taken out, yeah, I need to take this out as well. Need to have an error in the CPP now, I suppose. Good, yeah, all this has got to be all. We've got to get rid of this. Um, there's stuff in the constructor. Oh, let me see. Don't want to do any of that or the blackboard. I don't think so because we're getting we're using the yeah we're using a constructor help us and get rid of all that code got rid of stuff out of begin play the on possess is now different we do is take this log out as well I um put in a if statement mpc equals I'm gonna cast it to the amp oops pc isn't it and da 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 there's a point there's a Character Pawn is the name of the params are coming in called and I've got another one of these uh, to include and these sorting out. Try and get the behavior tree from that. Remember we wrote that getter, stick to Pascal case, give it a capital T. Then we need to run this tree. Makes it a bit simpler. Now there's gonna be a load of let's see what else we've got in here. Ah yes, yes, yes. Surprised he's not complaining about that. Oh yeah, maybe it will, and it should start complaining about these, but this isn't now dead we don't want that now we haven't got away getting the blackboard now this caused me some issues and what are what do we do in begin play for start ah oh, yes this is it so oh, i've got some more dead code up here let's take this out over here move all unused let include directives oh we can get rid of that one why not so let's have a look in the begin play right the problem is that by putting the behavior tree onto the MPC we haven't got behavior tree component what we've got is a behavior tree the behavior tree component is sort of like a wrap around it I can't see what 
real use it was. I tried exposing its blueprints. I was hoping it was going to have a property that you, where you set the actual behaviour tree. Uh, it didn't. So, and if uh, you use, as we are now, an actual behaviour tree like this, you can't get the blackboard component. You can get the blackboard data from this as a public variable and so we could use that except when I looked at it in the uh, documentation it looked horribly complicated and I gave up so what I'm gonna do is create our own blackboard component yes yeah, so there's something got to put in the header for the controller yeah here we are didn't do that so in the um whoops in the controller we need this now oh that was from before wasn't it um I'm gonna call this blackboard component and I do that so we're gonna build one of these it's quite simple it took me a while to work it out oh that's the other thing I think you've got to put a U property on it because the dumb garbage collector comes along and destroys it if you're not careful what we do in the begin play of the controller is we create this so, so I've got to get the uh, NPC get the uh, behavior tree from it cast PC. Yes, we've got to get the pawn from the controller and we cast it to the NPC. So if auto const, we now get the tree. Then there's a another function called use blackboard. A bit oddly named, I think. But it takes a blackboard asset and on the tree there is a blackboard asset variable and just passing this blackboard component takes a pointer to a blackboard asset and a reference pointer to a blackboard component what it does it takes this blackboard asset and make, gives you back a blackboard component which is now in our controller that's that so now we've got to fix all these errors here what I need to do is to replace this with a new blackboard component like so do it again. Well, I don't think we've got any other errors, have we? Arguably, we should check this, shouldn't we? Make sure we actually have got a blackboard component. Do that here as well. Perhaps it should be at the front, but we short circuit the comparison. Tis wuzzies. And I'll do it here as well. I'll put blackboard bit of an efficiency drive this because um, what will happen is if the blackboard component is null then we won't do the comparison against the tag or the type name so that's that there's nothing else do a build oh errors oh yes <laughs> I've got a load of other changes right um, that get blackboard was in all the tasks you see so what I found out is that this owner component, which is a U behavior tree component, when your task runs in the tree, does have a way of getting the blackboard. But what we do is, oh, it's called blackboard component, not blackboard, right? So I'm going to copy that because I think we've got some more places. In fact, we'll see this up here. Oh, seems to not like standard library headers. Down here, we've got one here. So I was getting it from the controller before, now I'm getting it from that. And this is just um, complaining about apps. So that's that one. I've got to do it's the same one. It's random location. Uh, da, da, da. That one there. A few here. Got to go through these. Find player location CPP in the same file that's been done find control path points and that's that same file again okay blow some windows down what we've got left chase player then stop investigating and that is just telling me it failed or be to do another build i'm gonna rewrite these anyway I found some other stuff out. I'll do that in the next video, I think, because it's going on for quite a while. That looks like it's going to succeed, which it did. Let's see if it actually even works. Oh, yes, before. <laughs> it won't work because we haven't assigned behavior tree to this. So I'm going to open it up. Oh, for some reason, this 
messes up over here. I don't know why. So go to the full blueprint editor. Wish there was a way of forcing it into the full blueprint editor. Got one already, so that should be all right. What about the patrol path now? There is this. Later on, I'm going to spawn this into level, and that has certain consequences. So that should work. Ah, it's working. You see, he's walking around, and if I let him chase me, here we go again. He's trying to attack me. And uh, I can attack him. Whoops. Yeah. So that works. And the next one, I'm going to yeah, gonna rewrite all these tasks, tidy the code up, do things better and differently.